Hey. <laughs> um, so, I've decided to uh, kind of go back to the old uh, way of making these videos that I did before, where I just kind of film it in one go on my phone and <clears throat> just upload it like that because it's just um, easy, it's less time consuming and I want to try and use my time for other things at the moment. And I felt like it was too much time and effort for these videos and these aren't really like proper videos for entertainment or anything they're just um, more a diary recording type thing to document my uh, <coughs> coaching progress as I uh, learn new stuff and uh, progress um, so I wasn't uh, there that I didn't do one last week so I've got to, I'm gonna cover the stuff from last week in uh, this week's film as well. So last week, uh, my co-instructor was um, ill last minute, and like, well, not last minute, but on the day, he got ill. So um, my sort of like boss with regards to like the head coach and my sensei um, came down, but I basically ran the classes myself. He didn't really do that much. Uh, himself um, occasionally yeah, he'd step in or I'd ask for him to help with a particular thing but it was mainly me just running the classes on my own which is um, an interesting experience um, of course I think he deliberately tried to leave as much to me as possible of course there were some areas that I'll talk about in a bit which um, I kind of need to help with I suppose Although it's not, they're not big classes. Like the first one was five juniors, and it was um, uh, well, it was three seniors actually. So we had two guys who were uh, normally another another class, but they came to do extra training for the grading and the kickboxing. It's about normal size, about eight or nine students. Um, <clears throat> so ordinarily. Someone who's like a proper full coach would not have any issues with that. It's quite small stuff, but I still struggled in different areas, which shows that I've still got uh, quite a way to go to being more independent. But it's tricky. The, the sort of things that I'm lacking in are things that are hard to get better at without being thrown in the deep end, as it were. So it's no surprise I'm not really... Uh, got those skills to do in the first place so the main thing one of the things for like with juniors I basically had one group of people who were like really brand new beginners and then some other two who had already done like one grading and they're a bit more experienced they're like there's like two different groups and I couldn't I had a really hard time managing both at once like teaching both at the same time because I felt like I couldn't leave the beginner one alone so I kind of ended up neglecting the others because I felt stuck with them if that makes sense uh, and so my sense had to sort of step in and help deal with those ones um, but I've not got that experience with managing multiple groups because Whenever I do assistant stuff, when you're in like my own classes, that I, I train at, not teach, but I'm, I'm still an assistant coach. When you do that, you're always working one on one or like with one group. You're never managing multiple groups or like not large numbers of people at the same time. And it's just the same sort of thing here. I'm not, I've not really had to do that before, so I've not really got any experience with it, and it doesn't sound too difficult I suppose it may not sound that bad but uh, I just had no idea how to really deal with it so hopefully I should be able to pick up some things I'll try and keep an eye out and watch um, how other people do it and see what things they do to kind of deal with multiple groups or if they find ways to like converge groups together into one unit to make it easier Perhaps, um, 
Another thing I am trying, I've been, I mentioned it anyway, I'm trying to refocus on it is uh, learning everyone's name and calling them by name deliberately all the time, uh, especially juniors because um, apparently parents really like to see that. Um, so yeah, trying to learn names, um, sometimes Especially with like some of the kickboxing ones, I'm really not sure what the names are, and there's not really any way for me to find out without directly asking. And at this point, I feel like I feel it's quite bad to ask them what their names are <laughs> after all this time teaching them. So it's a bit of a weird one with that. Um, so, with regards to what I do, what I'm trying to do better for in. Re with regards to everything that uh, from last week, I want to try and because Rob spoke to me afterwards. My sensei spoke to me afterward about different things, mainly the managing uh, groups and stuff, and uh, dealing with the kids and stuff like that. So I want to take all those points on board and think how I can develop those skills more and stuff and then I also thought as a side thing I want to try and challenge students a bit more to push them to new levels and um, I'm not sure why I'm, I'm sort of naturally hesitant or a bit reluctant to push them particularly hard because I don't know I feel like it might be too much for them or like scare them off or something. I'm not sure why I think that because I'm sure most of them are perfectly capable if you really like you know you actually prod them in the right direction properly. Um, I don't know I mean I know I'm quite I have quite high personal standards and I like to push it quite hard sometimes and I'm prepared to suffer quite a bit for my art if that makes sense. And I guess sometimes because of that, I, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of most other people aren't prepared to do as much. So I feel like, I don't know, it's not really much of an excuse. But um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out ways that you can sort of push students more to try and up their game a bit. Especially... Um, with gradings and stuff, I was because today was the grading, and I was uh, I graded some intermediate students and uh, I I helped body with the um, advanced seniors uh, grading as well. So I saw all their stuff and then, and I saw the level they're at, and uh, I mean it's good stuff, but like you know they can do better. You know they've got more in in them and you, you want to push them to see more come out and maybe if I can uh, figure out how to do that I can help up their game to when they do it again next time in like three months they can do even better I don't know uh, so yeah in regards to today so I did some uh, grading like solo grading, I, I did it last time as well, where, where I did some beginner students. I think that's the first time I ever like solo graded. Before I have done stuff on the panel, which is where in like advanced gradings, it wasn't this time, but in previous advanced gradings, we've had it with like three coaches, who all either independently mark and then they get the average score of those three together, or you'll have one like the head coach marking and then. The other two were like, if he might suggest moving the score up or down. So I've been on that, but I've never done. Well, I've did the solo grading last time with beginners, and this time it was intermediate, so it's slightly different because um their standards are a bit high and their techniques are a bit harder and more technical. But I I quite enjoyed that. I felt uh, I felt quite confident doing that, which is um quite interesting. That was quite uh, nice to kind of do that and feel like I, I felt like I was 
honest with the marks and uh, the marks I gave were, uh, I think they were quite accurate, you know, I had that feeling of confidence in the scores I was giving, which is nice. And then, you know, assisting in the uh, advanced grading, um, it, it's, we had like one student who was really struggling with some stuff and um, they're quite small anyway, so I had to step in because a lot of the advanced guys are quite big and heavy, so I had to sort of step in to be a body for some of the more dangerous throws, which um, require a bit more lifting or, or like other potential risk factors, and it's just better to throw me because I'm a lot lighter, um, and I'm just uh, I've been doing it longer, so I'm better at break falling on certain ones, which are quite potentially risky as well. Um, <clears throat> But, you know, being a higher level, I'm also used to not being as compliant. I'm not used... So when I say not being as compliant, some of the other students were, like, deliberately going with the techniques to make it easy for this person who's struggling, whereas I just sort of... I'm not, I'm not resistant. I'm not deliberately trying to fight back, but I just... The way I always do it when I'm being thrown is I just sort of go neutral and just don't really do anything and let them put me in position and if the position is wrong then it's not going to work on me because I'm not fighting against it but it's just not going to work because mechanically it's wrong um, and so there are instances like that where she just they did, the student just uh, struggled quite a bit it was interesting to see that happen and in advanced grading so the standards are a lot higher um, so we have to be harder on them for, for their own good, really, I suppose you could say. Um, I was meant to be doing my own grading. Uh, I'm working towards third down. So, um, I have to do catters 11 and then 12, and then I can just focus on the actual uh, third down syllabus stuff. I was meant to be doing 11 today, but uh, we didn't have time because the advanced grading kind of overran. A bit so um, I'm doing it on Wednesday so hopefully uh, in the next week's update I'll uh, have done that um, I suppose last thing I'll say is that the sessions this week and the actual classes that uh, we, we did they were, they were quite small for the most part I think had, uh, five seniors five juniors again sorry uh, because I, I didn't have a massive amount of involvement with that because the advanced grading kind of overran into the first junior lesson and I was in I was doing the advanced grading so I wasn't doing that much stuff with the, the juniors in the first lesson then I did the seniors we had uh, a new guy who was just trialling out just, just a trial session and then one of the other students has been coming for a little while uh, so we just sort of did taster stuff, gave that guy uh, an idea of what's going on, and the other guy's just a, a white belt, so it was, it was good for him as well. And that felt fine. Uh, uh, no issues with it. I felt quite confident today, a bit more chatty, to have more normal conversation, which is nice. Uh, the ladies' kickboxing session was only about four people. But after grading, you, you, you can't expect numbers to be high because everyone's just worked really hard for what they've done and they just want to go and relax for the rest of the day because it's quite a high stress thing to do, the grading is, especially when it's one of the one of your first ones or if it's one of your higher level advanced ones as well. They, it can be quite uh, tense and nerve-wracking. But the, the sessions, they felt good and they felt nice. I think uh, I'm just going to made me focus next time on the the points from last week I'll, uh, I'll work on them uh, but I think that's pretty much it it's caught up everything now so see you next time